A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers or sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones, and you are members of the household of God built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word, nor a discourse, whose voice is not heard. Though through all the earth their, vo- through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out to all the world. My brothers and sisters, may our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter and his brother Andrew, James and John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. And so, Today's the feast of St. Simon and Jude's apostles, of course. And so we hear in Ephesians, we just heard this about two weeks ago, and it talks about we are not strangers or sojourners, but are citizens of the Holy Ones, members of the household of God, built on the apostles. So that means that we belong to Jesus and we belong to one another. And as members of the household of God, You know, it means we're never alone. That means that together we can do anything. Together because the spirit of the living God who lives within us. Again, Jesus started this whole church with 12 men, period. And it built to all over the world. And we belong to that same church. And we got to rejoice in that reality. That I'm not a lone ranger when it comes to following Jesus. This isn't about just Jesus and me. It's always about us. Always about us. Always about us. So today, let us together rejoice that he has called us to be a member of his family, part of the household of God. May each of you know his love today and forever. Amen. Stand and pray.